What do you have on your face? What? It's something yellow. Yellow? Yeah, it looks like mustard. Oh, yeah. I had some mustard uh, with the sausage. Well, you missed wiping that spot with your napkin. Uh, I didn't use the napkin. Why not? What are you, eight years old? Yeah, and after I ate the sausage, uh, I went and played with my Hot Wheels cars. So I'm going to be staring at that mustard stain on your face through the whole show? Uh, why not? It's dry. It won't get on the microphone. It's good that we're not on the video. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, ready, mustard stain. Okay, here we go in three, two, one. Hi, and welcome to the uh, Barbara and Walter show. Uh, I'm Walter. And I'm Barbara Kozakiewicz Kiva. Uh, you can go and sing uh, the show beginning song. Yeah, everybody, it's time to dance. It's time for the Barbara and Walter Kozakiewicz Kiva show. So Barbara has some mustard on her face. Oh, stop it. You do. <sighs> Someone has to teach you how to use a napkin. Well, it's hard. Uh, those napkins uh, don't have any instructions for how to use them. Right. You should leave the mustard on your face all night, and then everyone will see it tomorrow morning when we go to mall walking. Oh, those peoples notice everything. Uh, do you remember when Waddle Hips was missing the button on her sweater? Uh, everybody told her about it uh, maybe 20 times. Or the time you came out of the washroom at the mall and you had toilet paper stuck to your shoe. Everybody started laughing and it caused such a commotion that the security guard almost kicked us out for being too loud. Yeah, they can kick us out for being too loud, uh, but uh, in the washrooms at the mall, uh, they still have the very loud air hand dryers that are uh, louder than an airplane. Oh, I haven't noticed. What are you talking about? I was in the washroom there this morning after the mall walking and after I washed my hands, I started drying my hands under the Boeing 747 air hand dryer. And then, do you know who walks into the, into the washroom? Squishy face? What? No, not squishy face. Uh, why would she come into the uh, men's washroom? No, uh, it was eyebrows who walked in. Oh. Yeah, so there I am, uh, drying my hands under the super loud air hand dryer, uh, and eyebrows start speaking to me. I yell, what? And he keeps talking. Uh, I couldn't hear a bloody thing. Uh, and his lips kept mo moving and he kept talking. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, this was going on for 20 seconds. And he just kept going and going. Well, he must have had something very important to say. Yeah, right. Uh, when my hands were finally dry, uh, the stupid loud air hand dryer stopped. 
and I said, uh, what were you saying? Uh, and Pa, uh, do you know what he said? What? Uh, he said that he was almost late for the mall walking uh, because he and his wife uh, bought some new cat food for their cat. And he put the food in the bowl and he wanted to see if the cat liked uh, the new cat food. And did it? What? Did the cat like the new cat food? How the hell do I know? I don't care. I didn't ask. I wonder what brand of cat food he bought. Uh, you can ask eyebrows uh, the next time we go to mall walking. Mm -hmm. I am sure that he would be happy to tell you. I bet that it was tuna flavor. Uh, I don't know. Oh, do you remember what happened to us with the tuna when we were going across the border a few years ago? No. Remember we were driving and the border patrol man asked us if we were bringing any seafood across the border? Oh, yeah. And when he asked us, uh, you said yes. Uh, I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah, when I said yes, he told us to pull over for an inspection. Yeah, and then two more big border patrol guys uh, came over to us and they told us to open the trunk. Uh, then they started to take everything out of the trunk and they were opening everything to, to look inside. I was just hoping that they didn't open anything embarrassing, like my underwear or something. Uh, I'm sure that they were hoping the same thing, Ba. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but after they looked through everything, uh, they didn't find anything I illegal. Uh, then they walked over to us and asked us uh, why we said that we were bringing seafood across the border. Uh, because they could not uh, find any. Then I told them that it was under my seat. Yeah, I still did not know what you were, what you were talking about, uh, that we had uh, the seafood. But we did. Yeah, sure. So the border patrol guy uh, looked under the seat and he pulled out the lunch bag. Uh, then he opened the lunch bag and he pulled out your sandwich. Yeah, that was the seafood. Ah, it was the tuna sandwich. But it was seafood. When they asked if we were bringing seafood across the border, I had to tell them. I didn't want to go to jail for lying. No, instead we were going to jail for wasting their time. We weren't wasting their time. You were wasting their time. What? When they told us that we could go, you started talking to one border patrol man. Remember you told him that he looks like Tony, our mechanic? Yeah, he did. Why would you tell him that? He didn't know who Tony was. Uh, what does it matter? Well, if you told him that he looked like a famous actor, then he would know what the person looks like. Uh, but he didn't look like a famous actor. Uh, he looked like Tony, our mechanic. Uh, that reminds me. Uh, I have to tell Tony uh, that there is a border patrol guy uh, who looks like him. 
Yeah, I'm sure that he will care. Was that Mr. Trotz who phoned here a little while ago? Yeah, he invited me uh, to go to his house tonight uh, to watch the wrestling. You are starting to really like wrestling, aren't you? No, not really. Uh, for me, uh, I have more fun watching Mr. Trotz uh, than I do watching the wrestling. Mm. Why? What does he do? Oh, he gets very loud, ba. He yells so loud that Mrs. Trotz makes him watch the wrestling on the TV that is downstairs. Oh! And when the wrestling fighting is on, uh, he moves his arms all over the place, and he pretends to do the punching like like he is uh, in the fight. It is very funny to watch. You should try to record a video of him when he is doing that. How can I record it? With your cell phone. I don't know how to do that. Uh, the only things I do on the cell phone are answer the phone call or look at the weather. Does Mr. Trotz have a smart TV in the basement? I don't know what kind of TV it is. Why? Because I saw on the news there was a story that talked about how smart TVs are watching us. What do you mean they are watching us? Well, I don't really understand it too much, but they were saying that if they want, someone can turn on a camera of some sort that is in the TV, and they can watch us while we are watching a TV show. Well, if they're watching Mr. Trotz when he's watching the wrestling, uh, uh, then they can see that uh, that's the pretty good entertainment. That's why I was asking if he has a smart TV. So we have a smart TV in our living room. So just be careful and remember that somebody may be watching you while you are watching Gunsmoke or Matlock. I don't care if they want to watch me laying on the couch in, in my pajamas or boxer shorts watching the gun smoke or the everybody loves Raymond. Uh, I am sure that they will enjoy it very much. Well, it's a good thing that you don't watch TV naked. Uh, that's the pretty good idea. Uh, maybe I will start doing that. No, don't, Walter. You'll scare the cat. Did we get any messages this week? Yeah, we did on our website. www.barbaraandwalter.com uh, the first message is from Lisa in, in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, Lisa says, uh, Hi, Barbara and Walter. If you were a cat, uh, what would be the favorite part of your body to lick and why? Uh, what the hell kind of question is that? Oh, that's a fun question. Yeah, sure. Uh, I know what Mruchka's favorite part to lick is. What? Well, it, it happens when she's asking a question. What do you mean? Well, you know, uh, when she has one leg in the air and she's licking her bum. Oh, Walter! What? It's true! It wouldn't be uh, my favorite part to lick, 
you, you would get the pretty bad breath, too. My favorite part to lick would probably be my right paw, because you would use that paw to clean behind your ears. What would be your favorite part to lick, Walter? Uh, if I was uh, the, the cat, uh, my favorite part to lick uh, would be uh, my back. How could you lick your back? That's impossible. Well, I, I won't be able to. And that's why it would be my favorite part to lick. You're no fun, Walter. What? Well, would it be better if I, if I said that I would lick my bum? Yeah, do it to improve your breath. Oh, very funny. Thank you for the fun question, Lisa. Here, you read the next question. The next question was sent to us by Trevor in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Trevor asks, what is the least favorite scent in your house? Oh, that would definitely be Barbara's farts. What? I do not fart. <sighs> And you shouldn't say fart on the show. I shouldn't say what? Fart. Uh, then why do you keep saying it? Oh, stop it. <sighs> okay, uh, my least favorite scent in our house is Mruchka's litter box. Oh, yeah, that can get bad sometimes. Yeah, we, we almost have to wear the oxygen mask around the litter box. I think my least favorite scent in our house is Walter's farts. Hey, why can you say that? I'm just kidding, Walter. <gasps> my least favorite scents are sometimes things that Walter likes to eat, but I don't. Like what? Well, you really like hard-boiled eggs. And you know what they can smell like? No. What do they smell like, Pa? I'm not going to say it again. <gasps> you also like Limburger cheese. And to me, it smells like feet. Yeah, that smell is not very good. -a. Oh, you're so funny, Walter. Yeah. Thank you for the smelly question, Trevor. Okay, I think it's time for you to sing the show-ending song. Yeah, sorry to leave, but this is the end of the Barbara and Walter Kozakiewicz Kiva show. Bye. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Uh, do, do we still have the uh, Limburger cheese? Yeah, I think so. Y you would know better than I do because I don't eat it. Uh, maybe I'll have some uh, later. Uh, uh, could you please uh, cook me some hard-boiled eggs, too? No, you can cook your own hard-boiled eggs. <sighs> when you're in the kitchen eating your Limburger cheese and your hard-boiled eggs, why don't you move Mruchka's litter box into the kitchen as well? Oh, yeah. Uh, that would make the explosion in the kitchen with those three smells all together. That reminds me that we do need to buy more cat litter. Will you be going to the store today? 
Yeah, I can go. Uh, uh, do we need anything else? Could you maybe pick up some fabric softener? If you want, you can go to the delicatessen and 